timer. What's up, YouTube? I am Poji Force. That's Nathan. What's up? Today is Saturday, February 2nd, and it's time for our card of the week. This week it is a nature card, and our card this week is Gigahorn Charger. You want to start us off on this card? Well, the card itself, great card. It's, um, benefits are anytime you're playing in a dual or higher nature, higher civilization deck, including nature, because it gives you card search for your large creatures that will generally finish the game. A uh, popular run in Water Nature Fire, going turn five, Gigahorn Charger, go get Tetsurian the Unchained, Tetsurian, or Bolt Tail. Agreed? Yeah. He's really for searching out your big finishers, especially when you're playing Dragons, uh, because Fire doesn't have any search or draw or any sort it's all destruction and fast attacks so yeah and at five mana he dodges most removal yeah i mean at three thousand power he's hit by heat seekers but usually people will reserve the heat seekers for more because once he's used his effect he's not the threat people will heat seekers chimera bait generally the and the three drops that do things when they attack um, generally, if they're planning the Heat Seekers him, it's simply just to keep you off of a field. Nothing more. Yeah. Like, they're not doing it simply because he's really good. It's just they don't want you to have a creature. Yeah. That That's really their only if reason for doing it. And if they're that desperate, then you're probably well, I mean, in a they good could position. Be, they could be playing full-out control. Yeah, maybe. I mean, if they're, if they're just playing full-board control... Then, yeah. Then there's still probably something more pertinent to be dealing with on the board. Well, if you think about it, though, if they're playing full board, full board control, when you play Charger, there's a good chance you won't have any other creatures in play. Really, what you need to worry about isn't so much the response of Heat Seekers, but the, at five mana, if, especially if you're going second, your opponent might have a Razor Kinder Puppet to yeah. dig out what you just searched for. So if your opponent's playing Puppet, you need to be very careful about when. You play Gigahorn Charger. You'd rather lose the Charger than lose what you just searched for. Um, the other thing is, is with it being turn five for him, whatever you're searching for, there. If your opponent's playing like Blurple or some more deck, as soon as you play the card that you're just searching for, they probably already have a Medusa in wait because with Charger you have to show the creature that you yeah. went through your deck to search and get. So they know what's coming. Um, on the other is, hand, this you is could... why personally, I feel like unless you're getting a card that you can play on turn six, turn five charger is not the best play. Because like say if you're going for bolt tail, you might want to wait till turn six to do the uh, charger. I mean, if you're going for unchained or any seven drop or six yeah, like drop, I said, if you're doing us do it, do charger the turn before you would have the main. Well, I mean, I would still do him turn five. Turn. It, um, if you're going for Unchained, because there's plenty of things you could be doing turn six. Yeah, I'm saying like, but I'm saying like, say if you're wanting to go get Bolt Tail, for example. Well, yeah, Bolt Tail maybe. Don't go and do Charger on turn if, five. Wait till either turn six. If or, you got nothing better to do turn five, though, you might as well do it. Yeah, I mean it's understandable if you unless you're unless you're really that scared of the puppet. Um, it's understandable if you just don't have a play, but. Really, you just don't want to leave the card that you're you're searching for yeah. in your hand that many turns. Like once you yeah. search it, you want to be in a position to play it that next turn. So it's really a matter of setting yourself up. Shut up, phone. All right. So yeah, Gigahorn Charger is pretty good. Um, he's. You know, let's talk about what we were talking about at Taco Bell. Because this is funny. Gigahorn Charger, uh, his ability is more or less um, a nerfed version of Rumbling Terrorhorn from Duel Masters. Duel Masters Rumbling Terrorhorn was a 5 for 3 horned beast, I think they were called. Um, he had the ability to search your deck for any creature and add it to your hand. Now, now Rumbling Pterosaur is essentially Rumbling Terrorhorn, except... I mean, he has the same art. His name is similar. I think he still has the same cost and power. 
except he has no effect. But it's kind of funny because we were talking about the cartoon, and in the cartoon, Rumbling Pterosaur has the unique ability to breach the veil. And because of the... And breach the veil, the spell, allows you to essentially search the top five cards of your deck for a creature. So it's kind of interesting that Rumbling Pterosaur and the cartoon kind of does what Rumbling Terra Horn did in Duel Masters. But that job has been now applied to Gigahorn Charger. And I don't even think they've shown Gigahorn Charger in the show. No. Because like I, I was really thinking like if he was going to show up, he would have showed up during the um, Shield of Unity set of episodes. I mean, there are so and many I creatures looked, running around. The... I looked for the, the popular ones. Well, remember, I the Shield of Unity it. was a contest between Beastkin. Gigahorn Charger is not Beastkin. I thought it was He's just... He's a Tusker. I thought it, it's not, a, it, they, it's they, not they, between the Beastkin. It was between the Beastkin because they had to hail from a specific Beastkin tribe. Well, you gotta remember, you had the... No, I get, that's... It was supposed to be a Beastkin contest, no, but then was, there was the supposed Snow Sprite, which is not a also, Beastkin. Well, so. no, also look at the finals. In the finals... You had um, Brave Giant. Who's a giant. Yeah. Um, so, it wasn't a battle amongst... And then you also It was had, supposed to be... You had a stone giant during the regular fight. Or maybe it was just tribes. And it, it was the battle of the tribes. Was which isn't necessarily Beastkin. Though. Yeah. They pr whenever and, you, they talk about tribes, you think it's like the Cool Spike tribe, the Bronze Arm tribe. So I said, I, I searched for Tusker in it. I didn't see Tusker. Um, the Tuskers, from my, from what we saw, especially compared to Rumbling Pterosaur, they seem to behave like cattle. They're not as intelligent as the rest of the nature civilization. They're very cattle-like. Well, like... But I think we've gone off on a tangent here, so yeah, let's get have. back to the card. Gigahorn Charger, 5 for 3,000. Search your deck for any creature power, 5,000 or more. Pretty powerful. Great for getting out your finishers. Um, he's only hit by certain removal cards, and usually they've got better things to be playing those on. So, he's not that bad of a card. Nature the Darkness Control, you can use him to go get yeah. your, uh, Medusas. Mm. Um, you can use him to... There's a lot of cards that he can get. The only thing you really want to be careful of is if your opponent is playing Puppet. You'd rather them Puppet the Gigahorn Charger than have them Puppet what you went to the trouble to get. So, I think that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. Like, favorite, subscribe. That is all Kajudo Duel Masters. Duel on. We will see you later.